top of the late afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're, I guess, we're at the last test session for these two. It's been kind of a process. I'm thankful to Mr. Karsten for allowing me to have his 880 for a pretty good stretch of time. Did quite a few modifications to the thing. Triple ported exhaust. Um, thing actually spins up now and it kind of beat my 084. This saw has the torque tune but it's down on horsepower about two tenths straight away. Part of that's going to be the intake. Hopefully I'll remember to check that in the end. And part of it's the exhaust. This has the early version since this is an early version saw twin pipe system that comes out. It's not the secondary later version. It's pretty much open inside the muffler itself, the can. It's kind of restricted the way that process worked. I tested it in dual ported form, then I've triple ported it at this point. We're going to see how that works out. The 880 is triple ported and always has been. Um, we'll run a build sequence on this. I ran it against Cousin Gary's 088 last fall but we have an old roller nose we've seen this before in some of the earlier videos three foot bar and some three eighths chain actually so that ought to be kind of interesting anyway keeping me honest on the bar change in the middle since I don't know how you could ever do a fair comparison and have two different chains on two different saws and say that was equal um, Especially chains out of the box, brand new. They don't cut worth a hill of beans. I wouldn't even run a new chain without sharpening it. So, you got to run the same bar and chain, in my humble opinion. So, we're going to verify that I'm actually doing that. I guess I'm keeping myself honest. And then we'll have a discussion. Oh, I think I mentioned this before. 26 pounds fully laden with gas and oil, 24 pounds fully laden with gas and oil. So it's a two pound differential and it's lighter. Um, it lost by I think about a second the last time I ran these two. We're going to see how that goes today. The 084 is going to get the worst part of the knot because it's coming in the, up in that upper right hand corner you can see we're getting into that not pretty good so disadvantage is going to the 084 on multiple fronts so let us begin while everything's still a little warm are fun to run. 
but they're not fun to pack around on a side here with a long bar. This would be an extreme short bar. I wouldn't even bother running one of these saws trying to fell timber with this short of a bar. It was uh, 42 and up back in the good old days. Maybe we'll turn this a little bit and check it out. Seventy-two kind of saw was this one, I guess maybe. Kind of the O90 was kind of a kind of an operation, I guess. But so I had a few of the O84s back in the 80s and a 3120. And. Once you zip those saws, they were pretty awesome. These are one of them. I always thought that the 3120 had a little more low end than the 084. And this particular saw has a new crank, new bearings, new seals, completely had to redo it. Um, I didn't like the end of the rod bearing journal. So bottom end wise it doesn't have any more time, actually maybe even a little less run time than the 880. Um, but they're relatively close in that regard. It also has a new piston assembly, piston and cylinder assembly I guess technically on it. And so I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I don't know if we actually have aired that yet. Um, saw it set underneath my bench for about two years, and it was on my bench for four or five months as I was collecting parts here and there for it. So, complete overhaul <coughs> with minimal amount of run time, so we're not spinning these up very much. And they're both running 8238. Eight, Rocket, so we're spinning them up. The wood is some kind of a hybrid caught wood, I guess. There was mumbling that it was hybridized with something like aspen. I don't even know for sure, but it's not just plain cotton wood. And it grew out in a field. And we get a lot of wind around here. I'm sure we're starting to understand that with all the sod testing because it's generally windy. They were out in this field, some project test, no water, and out in this wide open field just getting pounded with wind. They were actually pretty stringy on the stump. Anyway, I ended up with some of these. They've been dead for a while. bar wrench isn't working, so we're going to have to take a time out here for a second. This saw has a little bit different handlebar configuration. I did a little mod, cut the end off on this fine. We talked about the handlebars before. I like this version right here because if you're running a long bar, if you start looking at putting that engine on the side like this, definitely the further this distance, the better you're going to be able to control that tip. Anyway, we're warming this one up now.
adjustment on this. Haven't run these for a while. It was pretty cold the last time there temperature wise. So it's gonna be hard to take a look here but we'll try. So it's hard to take the casing off the muffler real quick like you can. Take a look underneath the hood of the air cleaners. Now they're both sporting K&N. Psych. They both have maxi systems on there as you can see. The problem with the 084 is a little restricted on the underneath side which is kind of a bummer because if we look at what's going on we can see that it has quite a bit of monkey business that holds this basically the screw that holds the rain cover down over the top of the filter itself but you can see this got quite a bit of restriction on the underside and yeah we'll be cleaning those up before we actually do anything else with them and if we take a look at the 880 the 880 air filter elements in much better condition um, than what we see on the 084. So there's a disadvantage there as well. But if we look at the differential, um, it's kind of impressive to me. The, your 0.2 horsepower, two pounds technically, down on power in the 084, and I'd say a whole bunch of it's right here on this side of the equation. So it's restricted in the front, in the muffler, and it's restricted in the back coming in and we see a machine that's down two tenths of a horsepower in stock form um, and we can see that the element on the 084 was in a little bit worse shape than what we see on the 880 um, this saw has the torque tweak what that does is allow me to pull a lot I can pull much harder on this saw and it doesn't seem to lower in RPMs. I mean you can hear the first initial drop but it just keeps motoring right along. I built this thing for torque. Um, I didn't do the torque tweak on this saw. I'm hoping they're running relatively close to the same at this point. We're at um, 1.5 in the testing. 2.0 is coming later but this saw will be gone by then. One thing I forgot to mention with these two lunkers is that between the two of them, I gassed them up at the same time and it was about this much left in the bottom of a gallon. Um, almost a half of a gallon of oil filling them both up. So, and here we have a pretty good indication of the flow differential as well on the 084 versus the 088 you can see the element hanging out here everywhere so it's a lot more open and there's a lot less encumbrance in this particular design than that one another reason why the 084 is down a fuzz on horsepower they work a lot better than stock they flow 135 CFM versus uh, there's a couple different numbers for the stock HD2 system um, or maybe just HD I guess depending on this saw didn't come with a 2 
it came with a just HD, but they're down to a, around 77 or something with a little bit of time on them, I think. I don't think that's an oiled system either in that test, and I think that these do a lot better taking care of particulates, especially in fine dust. Kind of a long session we're talking about these saws. Um, I guess if you're a saw aficionado, then maybe it's not such a bad deal. I kind of enjoy the process. Thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.